What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at Baby Inzaghi and obviously with the SBC, uh, with the base icon SBC, a lot of people are packing this guy and I'm going to tell you how good he is. Is he worth actually having? Do you regret doing the base icon SBC? He is very, very cheap. He's, I think he's the third cheapest icon you can actually get. Um, he's coming in around about 150 to 160k on both consoles. Obviously, the icon SBC will be having a little bit to do with that as well, mainly because obviously a lot of people are doing them and spending a lot of coins in doing this. So, Inzaghi is not going to be one that you'd actually want. Like, let's face it, if if you could pick out of the 80 to 85 icons that there is, I think Inzaghi would be probably one of the last ones. <laughs> Literally, I don't think anyone would want him. But has he got anything that you could actually offer your team? That is the question that I'm going to be asking. Looking at his basic information, obviously he is Italian. Icons mean that they can link with everybody. That's probably the best thing that you're going to get from this card. The linkability with everyone is going to be fantastic because you can start to really move a team around. Um, obviously, especially the Italian league, if you wanted to fit CR7 in, that's always a nice option right there, especially if you've got someone who's Italian who can link him. Again, that's going to be something that really works in your favour. You could then just sub and Zaghi off, to be honest. That really is a possibility. But obviously, you don't really want to be spending one 150 to get someone who you're going to sub off every single game. He's a three-star, three-star, which again, is not it's on a negative, really. Uh, personally, I prefer, especially as striker, a four-star, four-star at the very, very minimum. Because when you're up top, you want to be able to make sure that you can get away from the defenders. Obviously, this game is all about possession and defending. So... If you're going to get the ball up front, you want to make sure the striker is either of an ability to get round players very, very easily or the ability to actually hold the ball up, maybe do a couple of skill moves to keep the ball and then pass it on. With the free star, free star, it does make that a little bit more tricky because the skill moves is more limited and then obviously the weak foot isn't as good. He is right footed standing at 5 foot 11 with a low defensive work rate and a medium attacking. So again, even that you'd prefer a high attacking work rate rather than a medium. So again, you've got a little bit of a negative there. Personally, that one I'm not going to count too much as work rates this year with custom tactics kind of kind of can be no, it kind of can be dictated, that's what I'm trying to say, um, in depending on what your tactics are, what your instructions are. I find that has a massive impact on how a player plays. So for me, the work rates, unless they're like a low attacking and high defensive for a striker, that would be the only time that I'd really consider it as a bad work rate. Pace-wise, 74 overall is not fantastic in the slightest. He is very sluggish and does take a little bit to get up to his speed. 86 shooting, which is on the better track. Obviously, that is a relatively decent amount of shooting for a card. Um, 87 finishing with 97 attacking positioning and 84 shot power. The shooting on him is probably the best thing behind the fact that he links with everybody. That is probably one of the only things that I actually really liked about this card is the fact that he can actually shoot. If you get him in a position where possibly he has some open space or manages to kind of get that little bit of a finesse, he's really good at that. That's that's literally it. Passing wise, non-existent. It's 65 overall. The best thing on it is 75 passing, sh uh, short passing. That it can get you by it can it can only just get you by to be honest dribbling not much better either at 79 but you do have 93 re reactions 85 composure and 83 ball control agility and balance on the 80 77 it, it's okay it's not great but obviously it will probably do you better than saying having a low 60 or a really low 70 i can kind of live with that obviously chem styles are very important with this card and personally the perfect chem style you could probably get with him would be pace and dribbling if they had that card literally that would probably save this card so much because if he's to whack a hunter on yes you've got the pace on there which gets it up to an 84 which even in this game isn't that incredible but the shooting goes up to 91 which for me 
is a bit of an overkill. I feel like the dribbling and the passing, or to be honest, probably just the dribbling, definitely needs some work. You can obviously go for something on the lungs of marksman and kind of sacrifice that that uh, pace ability and really just go out on the shooting and dribbling and possibly just pass his way forward. Stamina isn't that great either. 71 on the overall and then 60, what, 61 strength, 50 aggression on that. It's not great at all. The only good thing about this card as well that actually doesn't even come to in any factor is the fact that he can actually head the ball. He's got 91 head and accuracy and 84 jumping. It's a shame that this is not the meta of the game because that would actually be really nice for this card and probably would save it a little bit. Even though he is only 5 foot 11, I feel like if the meta of the, the heading was there, he'd actually be really good at kind of front, well, it's like front post goals or back post goals. More than likely the front kind of like the double X in and trying to get that either header or volley off. That's actually what this card personally would be really nice at. Looking at the negatives and the positives, like you can see, pace, freestyle, weak foot and skill moves, strength and stamina are my negatives. For me, I think that is a lot of negatives and I'm kind of being very generous on the positives. Decent finishing, which actually isn't a lie. Um, he does tend to miss a few, but I must admit it, when he does get it bang on, it's not that bad at all. Um, and then I've got heading. Obviously, if it was the meta of the game, I feel like it'd actually be really, really nice. And then the composure of him. I felt like... Because he does have 85 composure as a basic, I was really happy with that. You see here again, how that how that defender just manages to peel away from Toko Akambi, I do not know. But he really linked up well with him. I felt like them two played up front quite well. Obviously, Toko Akambi being, again, a bit of a bigger player and maybe not as fast. I felt like he really complimented Inzaghi by actually being able to kind of push that ball that extra little bit. And you'll see as well... And Zagi making them assisting runs with Bale. Lovely chip over the keeper. And yeah, I'd, the game's broken. What what can you do? Personally, I, I don't like him. I, I don't think he's a good striker. And I don't think he's worth one penny of your coins. But he could finish. I'm going to give him the, uh, the, the benefit of the doubt that he could finish. If he was to get him in the base icon pack... I personally would probably just put him in the club. I think there's many, many strikers that come so much cheaper than him. Like you can see here, Lacazette. Even though Lacazette for me wasn't my favourite striker in the game, coming to a really close price, I think Lacazette's currently at 30k, and that's with the base icon SBC out, it would probably be about 20k um, if you was to get him when the market is down. That, for me, is a huge price difference. You're looking at 140 k that you could spend at either that position or somewhere else. If you was to look for maybe someone around his level in price, I'd be looking at someone potentially like Aubameyang. Even though, again, I didn't rate Aubameyang too much, he is still better than Inzaghi by, by quite a bit. Personally, I do think Inzaghi is better than people like Amoble to an extent, I think they're very similar, but in Akadi, obviously being an 85 as well, I do think he is better than that, mainly because of the finishing. Pace-wise isn't quite there, but again, you've got the linkability with being able to link with anybody. That's probably what saving Inzaghi even being remotely answered in the conversation of a squad. Personally, I wouldn't go pick him up. I've given him a 3 out of 10 for value for coins. I just don't think he's worth your penny in the slightest unless you obviously get him in the base icon SBC. Then you're kind of stuck with him until they make like an icon dump where you can just dump all your unused icons into like an SBC to get maybe a 100k pack back. I feel like that would definitely be something they should really consider. The same as obviously icon swap cards. I feel like that will be another one where you just need to get like a, an SBC that's a dump for all of these cards that are just not usable in the slightest. I'm giving him a 5 out of 10 for foot champs again probably the only thing that I'd put him in foot champs for would be to link a team together and then just sub him off straight away and again with the overall just purely for the fact that he's got a decent finish I'm giving him a 5 out of 10 personally he just wasn't really in the mindset of, of going in any sort of team and I'm kind of glad I cut him out of the way because we could try his other versions I think his other versions definitely have more potential um, obviously he's got an 87 mid with a little bit more pace and shooting and then he does have a prime which again doesn't really have the pace but it, it does have the shooting personally with that one I'd probably be going with something like a catalyst as he already has 91 shooting. For me, I just don't need to up that any, any more whatsoever. So you could get it up to an 89 pace with 77 passing. If you was to whack a hunter on him, you'd get 89 pace and 96 shooting. 
or you could go for a Hawk, 84 pace, 96 shooting, and 70 physical. There is the possibilities right there. Um, I think that's going to be an interesting one to see. At the minute, his mid card is currently going for 285k. So he'll probably be reviewed very, very soon. Obviously, we do have prime cards coming out, um, I think, in January, February time. So we're going to have to get as many bases as we can. Um, obviously, Figo, I think Makaleli, uh, Lipmanen, and obviously... The big man Zidane is coming very, very soon. And I am going away in a week's time. So I'm going to have to kind of like schedule a load of videos just to get them out for you. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace. Make sure you subscribe.